After China, Africa has the fastest growing economy in the world. According to Grain SA's Yanni de Velier, research shows that South Africa is becoming a richer country. The number of poorest of the poor has declined sharply since 2004. And as living standards change, people develop new eating habits. Somebody who is buying millipop like two or three times a day, um, those people can afford, you know, going to chicken, going into some other processed products, uh, protein products specifically. De Villiers says there are numerous factors that will ensure food security in South Africa. These include the country's free market system, adequate research, good technology, development programs and a solid tariff policy. He also believes South Africa's erratic weather conditions make the country's farmers the best in the world. But according to de Villiers, South Africa's agricultural infrastructure is not sufficient and land reform is unproductive. This can affect food prices. And rail is at the moment like between 25 and 30 percent cheaper than road transportation. So all the grains in the country and all the processed products need to be transported somewhere by road instead of doing the bulk of it by rail. So you can bring down the cost of food if the railway system is functioning properly. Grain analyst Jerry Norton says the drought in the United States will cause its maize crop to decrease by about 100 million tons. However, the wheat crop was good, and world stocks are significantly higher than in 2008 when there was a global food crisis. Uh, the U.S. Produ is producing a pretty good crop of wheat and has produced a pretty good crop of wheat. With regard to, to, to the issue this year, it's really about drought during the recent months in the U.S. and its effect on the corn production. According to Norton, the drought in the U.S. means that South Africa will have a productive <laughs> grain export season and this in turn will have a positive impact on the country's economy. Nia Willemse, Pretoria.